this is what my uh, hydroponic setup looks like when, before I start messing with it because uh, today I want to show uh, how well it's growing uh, this was started <clears throat> I started this in February uh, a little over a month ago or one and a half um, it's made up of um, IKEA boxes ideally they should be the same size but as you you've seen probably um, the top doesn't really fit um, the point the, the important things are that uh, the bottom should block out as much light as possible um, the top is really optional because um, uh, it contains the lights and it also prevents my cats from uh, messing with the plants but I still want to see my house plants so I chose a transparent top and that's why it doesn't didn't really fit Then I drilled holes for the lights and for the plants in the lid of the bottom box. Uh, the lights I'm using are cold white LEDs from LEDs from uh, China. Um, the water reaches below the bottom of the pots. I use an old aquarium pump for circulation. This prevents st stagnant water that would need frequent changing. I haven't changed the water so far but plan to today. Um, the roots doesn't get sprayed by the water so it's not an aeroponic setup. I made some pots myself from uh, plastic mosquito nuts like this one and zip ties to tie them together or in the other pot I used um, uh, hot glue I'm planning to make more because I like these pots very very much um, they're cheap, yeah. So uh, this uh, the setup is uh, stuck with some rooted cuttings. They were used to water. Uh, they were well grown in water so far. Uh, the potters, like this one. Uh, it's hard to see because of the monstera in front, but then the different different back here and uh, the spider plant. Well, I don't know if you call it the spider plant when it's only green, but well, they were just just water, and and they are still bare rooted. Uh, they will. I also added some plants that. I kept in soil uh, that I didn't think grew as much as I would want them to. Those were imp impatience. This one and um, dracaena that was removed and the monstera. Those were put in uh, perlite uh, after removing the soil. I also have some uh, mangrove seedlings like this one and there's another one over here and those are also bare rooted. I added some uh, ficus cuttings um, that had uh, water roots a few weeks ago 
and uh, some strawberry begonia. I think that's what you call it. We call them mother with thousand kids. The only one who didn't respond well to this experiment was the dressin, and I really don't know why. But when I saw the dress and I wasn't doing well, I removed it. So not all of these have put up out a lot of leaves. That goes for the impatience. I don't know if it has put out one single leaf since it was put in there. I did... Uh, I took a sneak peek uh, some weeks ago just to check how the roots were doing, especially for the ones that didn't put out a lot of uh, new leaves, but all seemed very promising. The most surprising success is the Monstera in front there. Um, And in my opinion, it is the one who, uh, the ones I have here, who prefer the drier conditions. This is one of the plants I planted in Perlite. It has two new big roots. One here. If you can see that, I had to... Uh, make it go into the pot because it wanted to go outside and also another one between there so it has two new big roots and uh, let's see one two very big leaves So, uh, well, uh, one and a half. The first one came very quickly and was very big compared to the ones that I had before. And uh, before I, I put it into this setup, it didn't do much at all. It had root, one root. Uh, and I had put it in soil, but it wasn't growing. And no new leaves for a very long time. Overall, my impression is that the plants with the bare roots struggle more than the ones in per perlite, from what I can see. In the future, they'll all have perlite, because this project is not the end of it. It's not ended yet. Uh, the results are so good that I want to keep keep it going. <laughs> Another supply, surprise is the different bacchia. If you have heard some, hear some noises in the background, it's my cats. I never use that toy uh, usually, but suddenly they felt an urge. So the different bacchia is this one it's not uh, well the new leaf is recognizable uh, you got the white part in the middle there so that one had was standing for a year something like that and as a cutting in water it had roots but it didn't grow any new leaves and uh, I didn't really know what to do with it. Um, uh, probably, I think maybe it didn't grow, be, grow because I didn't fertilize it enough. Um, so when I put it into this setup I, with the fertilized water, I expected rapid development And it did grow some leaves in a very short time, 
but it all leaves also that back. And you can now see it has a new leaf for me here. So. This was the status above ground. Now I'm very excited to see what's going on and in, on in the water. I haven't lifted the lift lid for a month or so. I have turned off, off the, um, the pump uh, because I thought maybe it was making too much noise. So this is what it looks like down there. And as you can see, there's lots of new roots. So I'll show you um, plant by plant. And I start in the back. Okay. First, we have a mangrove cutting. <clears throat> Those are slow growers. And I'm not sure I want to keep it in this setup because, as you can see, um, the roots are not growing very much. Well, there's some new growth here. Okay, now I got it to focus. So, um, it has one growing root, but otherwise not much. So I don't think it, it benefits from this setup as much as I wish it would. Also, um, there's also a, a space issue because it's limited space. And maybe I want to try out more houseplants. This could grow in, in just... The, something with water in and I think they like to have uh, the roots touching some kind of ground that would make sense and so and they doesn't they don't in this setup I was hoping I could make them form these long roots because now they have the space but I think I need to put them into something first so Let's see. Now we'll we have the portals. Uh, I think this might be a marble queen or something. It's not just a regular golden one. So it has. I think this one also is a new leaf. Yes, it is. It was a cutting rooted in water. And as you can see, massive roots so um, uh, not because it's not difficult to get potters to root but um, but I, one of my ideas is to use the setup as a place to keep mother plants to take cuttings from later so they don't take up a lot of sp my other grow, grow space and uh, the potos is definitely part of that plan but I'm a, I may decide to put it in uh, perlite uh, then there is this, oops, <laughs> it's getting close to the point where I can't get it out, let's see, so, um, <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> lots and lots of roots, <laughs> um, I think that it's the new roots that are important. So, and um, it's a lot of them, and then they are fat. And also, the spider plant seems to be thriving. 
but I will, and as you can see, there's the small, there's a small uh, um, leaf coming here, could um, make a nice addition to the plant, but <laughs> then I need to definitely change the setup. There's also one here. So I don't know what to do really. Um, I need to think about that. <laughs> because the roots are growing above the point where these branches come. And that's, <laughs> that's no good. Then there's the impatience. And this is why I didn't throw it out when I saw it wasn't making much progress uh, about the water because there's lots of new roots growing. And even the part above the water seems to be healthy. Uh, and even though it's not growing much. At some point, maybe it will, I hope. So, but lots of roots, that's good. If anyone has any idea um, uh, what I can do to make it grow more, please let me know. Because I think that it's just so beautiful, the leaves. I don't care about the flower, I, but I really want it to grow to become this large bush. Another one of my mangroves. have more growing tips maybe I should leave this one then there is the monstera and this has to go out of this setup because it's too large it's taking up all the light or light from a lot of the other plants with the large leaves it's sad because it really seems to enjoy this uh, actually th this one seems to have done more above water than below but you can see fresh fresh roots so this one need, will have to be grown in s some sort of other setup. So, uh, two large leaves for this small little box. And then my ficus cuttings. And remember, these have only been here for a couple of weeks. And look at those roots. Now, it has several plants, but I think most of the roots belong to this one. Because uh, he's the one who's put out new leaves. Uh, and he's been there the longest. It may also be the ficus pamela, the small leaf one, but I don't think so. That's that's ficus pamela. It seems to be okay, uh, thriving, but uh, doesn't really have the time to do anything yet. And then there is this one. Okay, then that's not rooted at all. I just put it in there because I wanted to see if uh, I could root plants in this setup without doing anything more than sticking them down. Uh, but it seems I should throw it away or put it in water because the top here hasn't really got much water in it. 
and this one is not doing very well so that's also that so but this will make a really nice mother plant for all my future ficuses. I'm not sure what kind of ficus it is. So if anyone can tell me. I'm thinking maybe ficus retusa or the ginseng ficus. I don't even remember the original plant because there's cuttings of cuttings of cuttings. Uh, years back, so I also hope to grow grow the mother of ten thousand kids. This one seems to have be rooting at least. That's good because they yes they got lots and lots of kids, but I have trouble keeping them alive getting the kids to root so that's all the plants I have in here at the moment there will probably be other plants later I have to move some of them out some of them need uh, to be grown in perlite some of them need another setup so uh, but all in all I think it's a success and uh, I'm excited to continue this experiment. So, um, anything? If you have any uh, questions, any uh, challenges, uh, any, um, if you have your own experiences with uh, hydroponic setups, especially for house house plants. So let me know what you think. Bye.